quo, where are we at now? Second trimester. I don't know, I'm just gonna call it that. Nicholas, come on dude, grow some balls. Uh, I think this is where, where he meets her then. Um, <laughs> it's not that, look. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh sheesh, what could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. He's gonna ask her out to go to the movie then. You start on like nothing happened. No one will know. And everyone will still think you're cool. Oh, he's the cool guy. But what if she tells someone? Or yells at me? Don't be a little worse. <laughs> Shut up, Dr. Watts. Or, or she says yes, but really means no. Well, women are sometimes confusing like that, but I, I'm pretty sure yes means yes and no means no. <laughs> Quit worrying. Who would do that? And what if she throws an encyclopedia? <laughs> Holy fuck! I encyclo encyclopedia. There's no encyclopedia in my face. Oh my god! I don't know how to pronounce it in English. I don't even have a helmet. Dear lord, I'm not so prepared. You, do you have to wear a helmet to ask someone out on a date? Dude, don't panic. Just straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell him. Oh my god. Dr. Watts and like Nicholas could be uh, brothers or something. Or at least related. Everything will be alright. Just turn around, walk forward, look at the girl, look at her in her eyes and say, Woman, go to the movies with me. And she will say no. Okay, okay. Hey, what? You're pushing me. Shh. Here they are, standing in front of each other. <laughs> Smooth. First thing he says is, <clears throat> Hello. Uh, hello? She doesn't say anything. Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh my god, yes. Then why didn't you... Never mind. This is like some sort of forbidden love or something at school. <laughs> He's the popular cool kid or something and he falls in love with the the outcast, the the, the outsider, the the weird nerdish kind of per kid in school, I don't know. That's what it looks like at least. Uh that's a cool platypus you got there. What you reading? What you eating? Book? <laughs> no shit one! <laughs> About platypus? No. Oh. I uh... I think that's great. Facepalm! He freaking facepalm! <laughs> Dr. Watts facepalm! Lighthouses. <laughs> oh my god, huh? <laughs> you freaking facepalm! <laughs> oh my god. They're exactly, exactly 16 second order Fresno lens lighthouses in the country left. That was a mouthful. None of them are coastal and one of them was modified with a historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Interesting. Oh, is that what you're reading about? How else would you know? That's not some kind of information that you get on the street, you know. Um, say, you wanna go catch a movie together sometime? Catch a movie. Such a weird phrase. I don't know. That's okay. I'll give you time to consider. Run away. Run away, dude. I can't. Why? There's no date or time. Oh, um, how about Saturday at 8? Woman, Ava, I think the system. F f yes. Oh, it didn't freeze. Don't worry. Oh, great! As he jumps for joy. Never mind. I guess we'll work out the details later. What detail? Oh, how to get there, I suppose. Smooth man. That's an excuse to talk to her again. Um, I'll just face palm again. <laughs> oh my God, that Watts is awesome. What? What you looking at me for? 
dot dot dot. You think I'm I'm going to call out how utterly awkward that was? Well, you kind of just did. Dot dot dot. Well, just forget it. I'm not giving in to your expectations. Give him a break. He was still just a kid. You of all people should relate. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know? Hmm. Holy shit, hyperspeed. Why are we so fast? Well, I suppose if you look at it from the right angle. No, not really, never mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> what were you trying to compare it with? Oh, let's see what he's what he's gonna say to his friend. Is he gonna brag? What the heck were you doing in there, dude? What? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would just barge in there and be all like, Yo, woman, hey you, go out, me, you, now. <laughs> oh my god, that's just terrible. I know, and it would have still been better than what you just did. So, did she throw an encyclopedia at you in your face? Huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. See? I'm not on the only one who tells people to shut up. And suddenly, I feel loved. <laughs> so, oh, right. You already asked that. Nope. No encyclopedias were thrown that day. Um, what are we looking for? An art class? Dear Lord, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was gonna say a prayer or something, you know? Dear Lord. <laughs> but no, <laughs> he was actually talking to... Oh my god. Oh, come on, it's fun. Only if you can paint. You'll get good if you practice... What? That dude, the blonde dude is... He's... I wouldn't have actually thought of him as an artist after, you know, showing his, his so-called go-to move when asking out ladies. I wouldn't have expected that from an artist. You'll get good if you practice, you know? Yeah, right. After this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. How about a toothbrush? Okay. Quit complaining. I'm sure you'll learn to enjoy it someday. What the fuck did he draw? Ditto? <laughs> Looks like a freaking bunny rabbit or a ditto. I don't know. Why do you have to draw a stupid barrel? That doesn't look like a barrel, dude. Seriously, looks like an uh, animal's face, but like one that looks very disappointed or I don't know. Yeah, quick complaining. The barrel's there. Looks nothing like it, dude. Oh, the teacher. Leonardo da Vinci trained by drawing X, X barrel. Blah. <clears throat> Leonardo da Vinci trained by drawing X. Barrels are like very big eggs. Therefore, you will all be very big da Vinci's. Really? Wow, you're an amazing teacher. One big school, actually. Anyone? Anyone at all? What was the question, dude? I don't know. Alright then. River, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. Don't pressure her so much, man. Fine. I guess we'll just have to... He made sail on August 3rd of 1492 on oh, Napoleon or something from the Spanish city of Palos de la Frontera which was founded in 1322 and granted to Alfa Perez de Guzman who was at a mere age of 14 by the... Okay, okay, I only asked for the date, lol <laughs> But see, was that so hard? I guess not Good lord, does everyone with her condition have near photographic memory? Not really, though I think their rote memory is often very strong. Um, there's nothing there.
have to do in this class. Go to another classroom. So suddenly we've re gone far, uh, quite far in his youth. Psh, she's coming this way. I'll tab, I'll tab. <laughs> Receive note, I'll tab. Really? I'll tab. <laughs> what the hell? Lifesaver. Yeah. <laughs> God, this game is hilarious. All the four. <laughs> this time, all the four. Oh my god. Hmm. I th I'll enter this door first. It's locked. Cafeteria only open during lunch hours. Too bad. Um, I guess we'll just enter through this hallway. Holy crap, outside. That's a wrap. You chumps better or um, better next time. I'll be better. An atrium. We could use this place later. I just can't believe that these court lines are rectangles in his head. Oh, right. <laughs> rectangles in his head. Right, because basketball is always round, circles round, this one's oval. Looks like a soccer field rather, well at this, this part. Holy shit, they're doing push-ups! Ugh. Fine, you win. Booyah! Boom shakalaka. Okay, so he won with push-ups. A piano. What the hell is a freaking piano doing in the freaking gymnasium no, or sport something? I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Basketball field. Let's call it that. Whoa, 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 where are they going? Oh, it's lunchtime. Hell yeah. Oh, there they are, sitting. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. Are they talking about her? I mean, just look at her. Oh, she's sitting there, alone with her platypus toy on the table, staring at her while she stares at the food. Dude, don't rip on her, man. She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. That's not a deformed duck. That's not a deformed duck. It's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Quit making words up. Anyway, she's just so off, you know. This is quite sad actually that someone who just seems. I mean, I. Okay, to people who. Probably, this is just like the first impression of people if they don't actually know anything more about a certain person that this is the way she comes across to people when in actuality it's just like yeah something she can't actually do anything about or, or rather is very difficult for her to just make friends or social contact or whatever so yeah that's quite sad actually it's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? <laughs> he actually digs that stuff. Uh, if you're into aliens and that stuff, sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just hang out with the emos and gods? Hey, 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 dude. Weird is different from emos and gods. Weird is good, emos and gods are different. No. I mean, nothing's wrong with weird. Weird is weird. Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot too. Look, Nick. I just... I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. That's it, John. Be different. Be who you... Well, not necessarily be different. Just be who you are. But how the heck would you... But how the heck would being with her change your own identity? 
I mean, you just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know. That's actually quite... That he actually had this feeling about her from this point in his life already. Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. I doubt that. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it <laughs> already. Big words for a little kid, actually. To already know that, for sure. So you want her for what she has, but not for her. That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. It's quite admirable that he already... He just... Knows. I think you're wrong, though. And despite that his friend is telling him, like... Otherwise, that he's tr pretty much trying to convince him not to do this and just be like everyone else be normal be typical he just wants to be well not necessarily different but just i don't know just wants to be with her people aren't that typical everyone's unique in some way that's just what grandmas tell you mine never did Wait, so this guy is some, some kind of human hogging hipster? What? That's sort of disturbing, you know? Sometimes I want to slap our clay clients upside the head. It's high school, everyone's a bastard. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what he told her about... About at the cliff? What do you mean? Oh, I totally forgot what he said because it's like three months ago. I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, right? Maybe it's so it's something he caused because he convinced from this from who knows how long ago. I guess he's pretty up pretty good at holding a grudge. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. <laughs> or your monocle, you know. Come on. I think our passport's leaning against the table there. You mean that thing? Should I even? No need. I'm all good now. I'm missing one, though. Envious that this kid was still there to help him move pianos when their hair grew white. Oh, it's the of course the uh, the dude, the other friend of him who we, who we saw. Yeah, I wish I was still in contact with my childhood friends. The one, but he's the one that also married another woman that had the same condition or something along the same. Some sort of similar, but less severe, I, would, I think. I don't know. Reason and intense aside, it's pretty remarkable that they actually met in high school. How many of those go on for more than a month nowadays, huh? I don't know about you, but mine's, mine went pretty swimmingly. Yeah? So swimmingly, it swam right out the window. <laughs> That's nice about right. I just love how every time you see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. It must have left as a big, uh, it must have left as a big of a scar on his mind as it did on mine. There we go, last one. That's true. <laughs> we just get a free memory link or whatever it's called out of that thing every single time. Kame, ha me, for walnut sake. Ha. Okay. <laughs> oh, I already finished it for you, man. Hey. 
pretty pretty funny that this guy actually has a pretty pretty good sense of humor while doing a serious job like this, you know. Not cool, Ava. Then again, I guess you have to to keep yourself from actually getting emotional emotionally wrecked by all or at least uh, stuck in the middle or or I don't know. I don't know what it would be like, but I feel it must be pretty difficult to to go through this person's memory and then see him, uh, their entire life just unfold backwards. Nonetheless, but still, you never blah blah. <laughs> what? <laughs> you never cockblock someone in the middle of a kamehameha? <laughs> yeah, Doctor Rosaline, don't you know? <laughs> That's like rule number one. Oh god, here we go. Well, I think every single time from now, I started in the middle, so... I'm just gonna keep doing that. Hell yeah. Okay, so every every time I start in the middle, it's just... It's way easier. It's actually pretty straightforward from that point, because that with the other ones, I remember... I just randomly clicked and I was like, oh shit, what the hell happened? 